Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Again, for those of you who are coming back, for those of you who are here for the first time, you're very welcome. And if you haven't already done so, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notifications button to be notified uh, of any future content that is made here. Uh, just one thing I would say is that for those of you who are listening in every day and wondering maybe, well, you know, it would be good if other people could hear this, just prayerfully consider forwarding these messages on. There's a share button on the, the just under the comments box or the description box, I believe. Or what you can do is you can cut and paste the link through to the video and send it out as a WhatsApp message, either to people, maybe they don't have YouTube, maybe they don't have channels, or maybe they're unbelievers, feel free to forward it on to other people because by doing so, you'll be spreading the word of God and you'll be sharing the word of God. Whether or not you're speaking it directly or not yourself doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that you'll become active in sharing the word of God. So either share these videos within YouTube, if you feel led to do so, or do what I do, you can cut and paste the link and send it out to WhatsApp contacts. It's free to do so and you can send it out to five people at a time. You never know, someone might get blessed and someone might be lifted up and you never know, someone might even get saved as a result of hearing the word of God. But I'll leave that with you and you can consider that prayerfully. Amen. So tonight I want to look at uh, what I would call, or the name of the message tonight, is the hidden gospel. The hidden gospel. Now, this is the gospel of Jesus Christ, but it can be hidden by believers. It becomes a hidden gospel of Jesus Christ. And I want to read some verses from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And I want to read from verse 3 to verse 6, 2 Corinthians 4, verses 3 to 6. And I'm just going to read through it, and then I'm going to tell you what I think. It says, But if our gospel is hidden, it is hidden to those who are lost. In who the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which do not believe, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God, should shine unto them, i.e. the lost. Verse 5, For we do not preach ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants, for Jesus' sake. And verse 6 says, For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. So this is a message to believers and it's speaking specifically about the gospel being hidden. It says our gospel, if our gospel is hidden, if the gospel of Jesus Christ is hidden, then it is hidden to those who are lost. If you're a believer, you don't need to hear the gospel more than once. It's nice to hear other people preach it. It's nice to hear other people give their views about it. But in terms of hearing the gospel, you only need to hear the gospel once as a believer. Some people, before they get saved, need to hear it multiple times before they give their lives to Christ. But as a believer, the gospel of Jesus Christ is something that you have. And it is possible for you to hide it to those who are lost. Those people, the Bible says in verse 4, are blinded by the God of this world. They're blinded by Satan. Their minds are blinded that they should not believe. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The way to remove that spiritual blindness among unbelievers is through the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. It calls it the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. When you hide the gospel of Jesus Christ as a believer, you are withholding light. You're withholding light from unbelievers who have been blinded by the God of this world. And when you withhold light, that light cannot shine onto them and they cannot get saved. 
Verse 5, we do not preach ourselves. The gospel is about Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And verse 6 says, God has commanded the light to shine out of the darkness and shined into our hearts and give us this knowledge. As God has shined into our hearts, we need to be shining that light into other people's hearts. Not hiding it. If you're hiding the gospel, you need to pray and you need to say, God, forgive me. Because I have knowledge of Jesus Christ who is the way, the truth and the life. And no man can come to the Father but by him he is the light of the world. I know this but I'm hiding it. And I'm hiding it to the lost. Let's look at what Jesus said here. And I have another Bible just simply to stop me from flicking around from page to page. But Jesus said in uh, Matthew's Gospel chapter 5. Reading from verse 14, he said to his believers, you are the light of the world. You, if you're listening to me tonight and you are a believer in Jesus Christ, then you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. And neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that it may light all that are in the house. So is your light below the bushel or under the bed or is it on a candlestick? Verse 16, he says, and this is an instruction, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Brothers and sisters, tonight let me ask you a question again. And I'm asking myself this question as I've been walking around today. Is my gospel hidden? Is the gospel of Jesus Christ that I know, is it hidden to the lost? And if it is, and I know it is for me, I don't witness as much as I should. I don't speak the word of God to unbelievers as much as I should. I'm praying, God, please forgive me and help me to do more of that business. This is something we need to be doing as Christians in this last, of the last days before the return of Jesus Christ. If our gospel is hidden, it is hidden to those who are lost. May God help us not to hide the gospel of Jesus Christ. May God help us to let that glorious light of the gospel shine into the hearts of unbelievers who don't believe not the way it shined into our hearts. We need to keep preaching. We need to keep witnessing. We need to keep evangelizing. By however means God lays on our heart to the lost. Hope this message has been an encouragement to you tonight. And if it has, like I said, share it prayerfully with other people or with unbelievers it's up to you i leave it with you and whoever you are or wherever you are and whatever you're doing tonight be blessed in jesus name amen